Playing on my airplane. Playing on my airplane. Playing on my airplane. Reminiscing about last week. Remember that we had a big friend. What's up, you guys? What's up? What the heck is up? Listen. About to be one of those really inexpensive wig videos. A synthetic wig. Let me tell you, this morning has been so hectic. Like I had to wash my face three times, like wash away the foundation three times and start all over. I was about to start crying. I definitely did one of those. I was really about to start crying. For the fourth time, that if it doesn't go right this time, I'm not doing this no more. Listen, it's time to do a synthetic wig video. I have not done one in so long. One of my all time, always, companies that I always trust with my synthetic wigs, samsbeauty.com. They got all the new, new, all the old, old, all the clearance, clearance, and all the affordable budget hair you can only imagine. This one I've had in my collection for a few months and I finally got around to reviewing it. So I'm sorry for those who have been waiting, but this is by a brand called Style, a cross part lace wig. A yakky texture, so a cross part is, you know, it has the four crosses, you can basically part it, you know, with a cross. I don't really do that because I just kind of like to leave it as is. I don't really put like the synthetic lace front wigs up in like ponytails. To me, the hair just tangles a little bit too much, but if that's something that you like to do, you can definitely do it with this unit right here. And it's in the color 427613. I can't even remember what the color looked like, okay? It's supposed to give you a natural look, natural texture, comfortable and soft lace cap. That was a lot. The color is really pretty, you know what I mean? She got all these little baby hair swirls around in the front. Girl, we're not about to use all of those. It's definitely going to be swirled out to the baby hair gods. You could definitely just like lay it back, brush it back. The hair texture does feel very yakky. It doesn't feel like, you know, silky texture so it does give you like that look that resemblance of natural human hair for a fraction of the price. They do separate each ponytail, so that way you can find the parts in the unit, but you can also flip it inside out and you'll be able to find the parts as well. So this is what I'm talking about when it says crisscross method. They're soft lace, and I think this is probably considered like a French lace, but you can definitely cut it off. You can give yourself ponytails, plaits, whatever you wanna call them. And there are the combs as standard and the adjustable strap in the combs in the nape. Now, of course, I'm definitely probably not going to glue it down or hairspray it down. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this video. It has been a minute since I've done a synthetic lace front wig, so we're about to try to hook this baby up. And I'm super glad that, you know, it does not turn out like the one that I did the other day. So, as you guys see, the hairline is a little thick, and I would advise just to thin it out a little bit for those who like the hairline to be a lot thinner. But if you're not going to show the hairline as much, then you could just probably leave it as is, or you can just slide it back a little bit and leave your own front hair perimeter out. Now for me, I don't like the baby hairs so long, so I will be trimming them down a little bit, but this hair is actually really smooth. You know what I'm saying? It is a nice density, so it does look really natural. If you're thinking that it's thin, it's definitely not a thin wig. The hair texture does resemble yakky, and I'm glad that it's not tangling it as I'm actually styling it. So as for Sam's Beauty, they have a bunch of different brands on their website. Along with that, they got some virgin bundle hair girl. So you could definitely make you a wig if you wanted to. And I would say that their prices are really comparable and very affordable. So I'm going to be trying out, well, I already did actually try out this bed head. I actually wore a wig for about four or five days and I documented it. So I will post that video up really, really soon. So as you guys see, I'm about to switch the wig because I'm not really a huge fan of middle parts and I wanted to try it out and see how it looked on my right side, but my right side is a little bit thinner on the edges opposed to my left side, so I wasn't really sure how I felt about it being on my right side, but you know, I did continue to style it and then I went ahead and switched it back to the middle part, okay? You know, a girl could change her mind, it's okay. But I like the way that the hair flows. It's very easy to style and your brush is definitely not getting caught in any type of these synthetic fibers. So just to make it look a little bit more natural, you can use your press powder. These synthetic lace wigs do come with a standard color cap, but you can definitely make it a lot more natural as well as that as you can put heat to this unit. So I'm glad that it turned out decent. I 
really think like, you know, you would definitely need to probably like cut a lot of the baby hairs away or just brush them up into the unit. I went ahead and cut them, which was kind of my mistake. I probably should not have cut them because then they got shorter and they got a little bit more blunt and straight at the ends. They kind of like lost their curl pattern. And you know, I'm not really big on middle parts, okay? So especially not with my long head. Like, girl, listen, why is my shirt collar like... The cap for me, for one, is a little bit too big. And I have the actual bands crossing one another because I knew that this wig was going to be a little bit too big. Most of the times, like with the synthetic wigs, I always have to make them extra tight because, you know, they're just style for mostly any size head. But this one is a little bit more bigger than normal. Right here where you see the hair kind of like humping up on each side has to do with the way the actual cap is folding right here on me. It's kind of like very, kind of like big. I have a lot of space inside. So if you have like an issue like that, you may want to take like some bobby pins and kind of like tack it down, like pin it down to your braids, like your anchor braids on your, in your hair. So that way it will not like, kind of like, you know, raise up the hair texture though. So it's synthetic, you know what I'm saying? It's going to tangle, but I'm surprised that it's not tangling as I am actually reviewing it or styling it because a lot of times that's what happened, girl. Okay. That's what can happen. But with this one, it actually didn't. The yakky texture of this is really nice. Like seriously, but I will say this, they did blend the colors really well. Being that you can part this all the way back, you can definitely give yourself some, like some cornrows and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I just took my pressed powder and put it in the part to make it more predominant so you can definitely see it. It'll definitely look somewhat like scalpage, you know, I'm trying to make it look like scalpage as possible. You know, girls do have her synthetic favorites too. Yes, girl. Definitely want to check out Sam's Beauty for Style Plus, plus a whole bunch of other different brands that they do carry. You know what I'm saying? They got some bundle hair on um, Sam's Beauty too, girl. So, you know, if you want to make a wig, you can definitely check their website out. They got some really good prices for bundle hair. Like, I ain't even going to front. They do have some really good prices, girl. Yes, you can check out Sam's Beauty. I'll definitely post all of the information below. You know, I had a little bit of a fight with this unit, but, you know, for the most part, I made her work for me. You'll definitely need to pluck some of the baby hairs out of the unit so that way it doesn't look too thick. You know what I'm saying? But I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow Sam's Beauty on social media. You know, all that good stuff. And make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Share the video with everybody in the world. You know what I'm saying? You can either share it with Sam's Beauty. You can share it with your friends, your cousins, your grandmas, your aunties, your nephews, your uncles, your boyfriends, your ex-boyfriends, your husbands. Like, you could just share the video. So, I love you guys. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. And I will see you guys on the next video. Uh, uh, uh,